Hello, and welcome back to Fusion Writing, our exciting program where character development meets creating structure. And this week, we have a great program for you. Our topic is types of antagonist meets attention. And we are going to be looking at some really interesting concepts that I think we're going to be surprised again at how amazingly well two different topics work together in fusion writing. So without any more words, I'll pass it across to Victoria to get us started. Hello, fellow writers, Lilligans, anti-novelists, and friends. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, I'm back home in the library. The canoeing trip in the Boundary Waters was amazing. I am renewed and refreshed and ready to jump back in. So what I want to compass for you today is a little bit deeper look into using your antagonists. Now, we've talked a lot about conflict and driving story and how to stack and build your plot points so that you get from beginning to end. And then how to use scenes and sequels so that you are asking and answering questions as you move your characters through. And we've talked a lot about our heroes, our protagonists, because we are all secretly in love with our heroes. And so that's who we want to talk about. But we've also talked about the villain and your bad guys and how your bad guy is just as important as your hero. So continuing down that train of thought, when we get to the map tomorrow, we're going to talk about the different kinds of antagonists. So you may not realize there's a whole list of ways that you can antagonize and trouble your characters. So by looking at the antagonist versus the contagonist and breaking down what those terms mean and how you can employ them in your writing, we're going to come out of this with a much better sense of how can you drive story keep the readers interested, and keep those protagonists on their toes so that they actually follow that arc, that story arc, into the character that they need to be at the end of your story. So without further ado, I will throw it over to Kathleen for her compass, and I will see you tomorrow when we talk about the antagonists. Well, fantastic, Victoria. Boy, you've got me really interested and anxious to hear all about the types of antagonists coming forward. Well, my topic this week for character development is the issue of attention. Attention is a subgroup of the balance character traits. We talked about the balance character traits as being our struggle to live comfortably within our own skin, and the interesting part about the balance traits is that there's two ways to fall off the teeter-totter. You can go on too much on the side of chaos, things get totally out of control, or you can go too much on the side of rigidity and everything gets stuck and incapable of movement. But we're going to talk about attention. And when we talk about attention, we're going to look at it from two sides we'll discover that there's two character traits involved and we'll explore which those are in the map. And we'll take a look at how our character responds to both giving and receiving attention and where that shows up in importance for the character and possibly for an antagonist. So we will be delighted to see you tomorrow when we dive more deeply into this process. Victoria? Excellent. Again, these these topics dovetail so beautifully together. So as we start looking at the antagonists and the possibilities there, we want to keep our eye on attention as a balance trait and how can you either tip or even up the balance as you're writing those characters. So this will be super fun. So come back and join us tomorrow and we'll see you for the map portion. Bye-bye. See ya.